Hey, there you are. I just stood walking out in the shop. I hope your day is going well. Today, <laughs> I want to talk to you about the, this figure for your rower. How I put this uh, figure together. Uh, <laughs> I know all of you probably don't want to, might not want to carve a figure like this, and you don't need to. There's other ways to do it. I'll leave uh, links to other videos that I watched to in order to figure out how to make this rower. So I'll put that down in the description. Uh, Jane Corbus, she's a really excellent rower. Uh, her figure, I think, is covered in sheet metal. So anyway, you can check that out. There's a guy named Donnie Hatch. He's got a, a guy, I think it's dowels or wood beads or something anyway it's pretty simple it's not doesn't look too complicated and there's a couple other uh, videos I'll leave down there you can look at their figures if, if you don't want to carve a figure uh, what I have here the body it's six inches long and two by two so and I have a piece of alder. If you live anywhere around the Northwest or the on the West Coast where alder grows, I'm not sure where alder grows, but it's an excellent carving wood <laughs> and it's free. You know, it would be nice to have basswood or something like that, but I, I kind of like using the native woods. I just go down the river and uh, you never know what you're gonna find down there on the beach. So it's kind of fun. It's like treasure hunting, I think. So anyway, uh, I don't know if I can help you too much on the carving. I'd say always use a reference, have a picture to look at. That's pretty important. Uh, a couple people that helped me with my carving were Sharon Maillard. She teaches you how to carve those little guys that are about two inches tall. If you haven't done that, <laughs> you need to do it. I think the first one took me about four hours, but anyway, uh, it's a lot of fun. And she teaches you a lot of fundamental things about uh, the face and, and carving in general. And uh, she's an excellent teacher, so I highly recommend her videos. And the other person that I learned a lot from about the face is uh, Josh Foreman. He does a lot of sculpy work. He's not into carving, but uh, he's got a really good series on the head and the face and, and sculpting. And, and so, all about, he teaches you about proportion and, and, you know, a lot of good fundamental things that you need to know when you're trying to uh, carve a face or something. So, I highly recommend his videos too. He's an excellent teacher. And uh, so, <coughs> coming up, I've got a clip. I'll show you how to bend this here for the arms. <clears throat> I don't, I didn't feel myself making the rest of these bends, but anyway, I, I think you can figure that part out. The one thing on these arms that I want to emphasize is that they need to be the same length. It's really important because it has to be the, putting the same pressure on that gear at the same time as close as possible so anyway my arms are three and a quarter inches long and uh, <clears throat> I'll put them on a piece of rod like this and hold them up and if one looks longer than the other I'll just increase this bend and that'll shorten it up so anyway it's pretty important to have those uh, arms the same length so and I, I think that's about it just get to the rest of the, the video.
Okay, I'm just gonna glue these bearings into the figure. Okay, I, <clears throat> it's pretty th thick here, so I, I can easily put two bearings in there, which I think is always a good idea if you can't, uh, because it really adds to the stability. If you put one bearing in there, it'll rock quite a bit, but if you put two in there, it'll be solid. It won't move at all. So hopefully I can pound that in there. Pierre. Hopefully nothing cracks. Oh, I don't like the way that went in. Alright. That one feels better. Alright, I'm going to drill a 3 16th inch hole through both of these legs. I'm going to show you this <clears throat> how I align these bearings. You can see I put it in there, it looks like it's a little down to the left a bit. So come over here and I want it to be coming in right at the center there. So, anyway, you just keep manipulating it, and when you get it right at the center, it should. You'll know because it'll go right in. I got a little super glue on the in, inside of that bearing, but <laughs> there it goes. Anyway, it's pretty important to get those bearings lined up. Okay, so I got my figure here. <laughs> Let's try something different here. I drilled a 3 16th inch hole in this leg. I'm going to get ready to cut this piece of the uh, 3 16th inch rod. I'm going to make sure this, I got it in the right spot. Yeah, it looks pretty good really. Not bad. And let's see the other one. And, oh boy, we got lucky. Sometimes you'll have to sand off some or to get your clearance. Well, I better buy a lottery ticket. It must be my lucky day, I think. <laughs> a lot of times I'll have to do a little modification to get it all fit. Anyway, I'm going to mark it off and, and cut this little rod out. Or cut it to length. Okay, I got my figure here. And I'm, I'm going to mark this rod so I can cut it to length. I, I wanted to show you. I always leave a little bit of room there so I can put a dowel to plug up that hole. You don't want that rod flush with the wood. Well, I guess you could if you want, but I like to keep things looking clean. So I was... It's in there a little ways. I got it like that. And you also need to make sure you leave some room between the legs don't don't get it really tight so anyway <clears throat> I'll just make a mark here and I know I gotta uh, come in about well about an eighth of an inch I think something like that <laughs> I need a GoPro. <clears throat> I'm just putting a little cleaning up that edge there. 
So it'll go through the bearing. You want to get that rod <clears throat> where you want it. I'm just pushing that rod in a little bit. About like that. And then <clears throat> I'm take the drill and just drill a hole. Alright. So now I'm gonna drill a hole right here and hopefully hit that <laughs> 3 inch rod. I just want to make a mark and then I'll take it apart and uh, <clears throat> drill it on the drill press. It's a little easier that way. But, uh, should be something about like this. Okay. Okay, I got my little rod here. You can see that little mark on the end there. Right there. <laughs> I don't think you got any of that, did you? So there's my hole. All right. Sometimes <laughs> it's a little tricky lining up the holes. So I put a mark somewhere, so I know approximately where that hole is. It's not very good, but like that. Anyway, that'll give me an idea. So now I know that hole's got to be right about there. Something like that. All right, I got a better setup here. All right, watch this. So I can feel it. It's not going anywhere. I'll just twist. Oh, there. I can feel it. Now it went in. I'll go a little bit into the other side. I'll put this in here. Like so. I'll cut it off. You don't need too much more in there, but you want to kind of lock it in. So I'll cut it off and flatten the head with the Dremel. Alright, now I can take my center punch and just kind of pound it in there. Oop, dang. Okay, I might go a little deeper, but that's, that's basically it. I got a little room to put a piece of dowel in there. Now I'll put the other leg on and, and do the same thing all over. Okay, got my figure here. I'm getting ready to put on the arms or put in the bearings at least. I'll just make a mark somewhere around there and I'm gonna drill completely through. If you make a <clears throat> if you make a mistake with your 
location of your holes, don't worry about it. Just put a piece of dowel back in there and, and re-drill your holes. Because uh, I guarantee you, I've made plenty of mistakes. I guess the arms are a little far back. It looks good on this side, but on this side, there, it looks a little toward the back. I don't know. I may have to fix that. I may have to try to re-drill that. Because you want everything as straight as possible. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. I got my little arms here. I'm just going to... Well, what, are, what are we going to do here? Put the bearings on. There we go. Okay. That's good. Got it. Yeah. Put a little Loctite on there. Not a lot. And some. like that. Pretty tight fit here. I might have to. Yeah, I think I'll ream it out a little bit. Just a half inch deal, at least to get it started. I originally drilled it out with a uh, 3164. So. be good and tight but not too tight well anyway I'm not gonna bother trying to get it all the way in there because I'm gonna put some wood around here anyway I'm looking at this. They're pretty close to the legs. I think I'm going to have to bend that out a little bit. Both of them. I think I'll bend both of them out. You don't want them that close to the legs. You get some wood around there and everything will start hitting. So, anyway. Take it over here to the vise. Well, while I'm at it, let me show you my little bending jig I got here. Everybody should have one of these. It is really excellent for uh, bending any kind of wire. I just took a piece of steel stock and drilled some holes in it and put some pins. So simple as that. I have them different widths. Some I have pretty close. So anyway, when you gotta bend something, <laughs> this thing is the the bee's knees. I tell ya, you can figure out a good place for it. Here we go. All right, uh, bend that out. <sighs> Ooh, that looks good. 
Yeah, look at that. That's almost too much. But it's a lot further away. I'll bend it back a little bit. Maybe. Now, let's see. That's pretty good. I think it come out a little bit. I think that's about perfect. Oops. That's about perfect. do a little more work on it. I'll show you how to put the wood around these things. This time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Before I've just been ending the wood right about here, I want to try to make hands come over this so it, it's all hidden. So I'm going to try that. I've never done it before but I'm going to try it this time. <clears throat> well some, since we're on the figure, <laughs> I'll show you the chisels I got. These, Oh, I got a low battery. Anyway, uh, I think I got these on Amazon. I uh, I shopped around a little bit and found a, a set that had pretty good reviews. I think at, I think this was like fourteen dollars or something like that. Not very expensive, but it had pretty good reviews, and I, I like them really well. You have to sharpen them, of course, when you get them. They're not very sharp when you get them. So I would recommend those. And the other thing I got are these uh, little tiny chisels I got. I forget what I paid. It seemed like it was 30 bucks maybe for these four. Anyway, they are. <laughs> There's a round gouge, a V gouge. A skew and a straight chisel. So anyway, I used the, these ones for uh, <clears throat> detailing the face, the eyes, and anything intricate. So there's that. Well, <laughs> I got me a new piece of wood. This is some um, alder edge. All right. <clears throat> I got a brand new battery. <laughs> Where's the garage sale? A while back, and uh, he, he had this. I got this whole little carousel of. Oh, he had a bunch of stuff in there. A bunch of burrs, and anyway. Quite a fine. So let's see if I can't use this Dremel to gouge this out a bit. <clears throat> oh, it's like butter. This round part quite a bit. Come down. Hmm. 
it's getting there. I want it to be a uh, flush with that wood. So I'll just keep going here. There we go. Right like that. that there's, there's your arm. Alright. I'll just use some wood glue on this, I think. that dry do the other one all right let's carve this bad boy up huh see if I make it look like a <laughs> a real arm Well, that's your figure. I got these arms carved. I tried to carve a <laughs> regular hand over there, but I figured out it wasn't going to work. Anyway, that's going to take a little more uh, research and development, I think. It'd be nice to have them look like regular hands. But anyway, not too. Oh, I forgot. I, I still have to put in some quarter inch dowels on the bottom of his feet that's how I'll attach him to the bo bottom of the boat so anyway hope this video has been of some use to you I'll see you down the trail <laughs>